quick explore how you find uh, how ma not only how many roots are in a given polynomial, but specific types of roots. Are they positive? Are they negative? Or, or are they imaginary or complex? So in order to find that, I was going to give you uh, some two examples and show you how I found it. And you can use this tutorial as a way to help you with your studying. Okay, so the first one I have here is p of x, which is our polynomial, is equal to 4x cubed minus 12x squared minus 5x plus 1. Now the first thing you want to make sure is that um, your polynomial is in ascending to descending order of, of exponents, which it is. It goes from 3 to 2 to 1 and to 0, obviously. I mean, I'm sorry, not zero, to x to the zero, which just cancels out, okay? So we have that in descending order, so we're good with that. Okay, now the next step to do is to use the fundamental theorem of algebra and see how many total roots are going to be here, okay? And we know from the fundamental theory of algebra that the degree of this polynomial is the number of roots that we're going to find. And the degree here is three, so we know that because it's third degree uh, polynomial, there's going to be three roots. And we don't know what type of roots they are. We don't know if they're all positive or all negative or imaginary, but we know that there's three roots. So I always keep that to an aside, just so I know what I'm dealing with. Okay. So in order to do uh, Descartes' uh, first rule of signs, we're going to keep it with p of x. Okay. So we have, I'm just going to write it again, p of x is equal to 4x cubed minus 12x squared minus 5x plus 1, okay? And what, what, all we're doing here is counting the signs, okay? So we know here that this is a positive 4. So we're going to, from positive to negative, and I'm gonna, I'll put that positive right there. So because it's positive to negative, there is a sign change. So I put change, okay? You can just put the number if you like, or like count it 1. Um, from here, we go to negative 12x squared to negative 5x squared. So there is no change in sign, right? We go from negative to negative. So I don't put anything, or I put no, okay? And from here, we go from negative to positive. So there is one more change. Okay, so we count the number of changes. We know that from Descartes' rule that the number of changes is the maximum number of positive roots. And from here, we have two changes or max two roots. But that doesn't mean, and I'm sorry, we should put positive. It's important that you know that we're doing positive. That doesn't mean that two roots are the only amount of positive roots we have. We could have less, okay? And I went uh, further into uh, in class in detail why that the second part of uh, Descartes' theory, um, I'm sorry, rule says that we need to decrease that maximum number by even integers of two because we need to take into account the complex uh, roots, okay? So if we start at two. The only other possibility, less than 2, because 2 is our max, would be 0, because we're decreasing by 2. So we could have 2 roots or 0 roots, okay? So 2 or 0 roots. Okay, again, it's, it's important to put positive, so we know what we're talking about. Okay, so we have 2 or 0 positive roots. Okay, these are our options, okay? So now that we did the positive, we need to take into account the negative, okay? So in order to do the negative, it's the same thing as a positive, but we change our polynomial to p to the negative x, okay? And we did some problems like that. Um, we're going to do the same polynomial, so 4. Now, wherever I see x, I plug in negative x, okay? So it's the third. Here we have negative 12. Okay, I see where it used to be negative 12x squared, but I'm plugging in negative x. I mean, it used to be positive x squared, but now I'm plugging in negative x. Okay, and we're left with negative 5 times our negative x and plus 1. Okay, so we're doing the same thing. Now we need to see, now we need to simplify this expression. Negative x to the third power, or negative times a, ne a negative x times a negative x times a negative x, will always yield a negative result, or anything to the uh, odd number power, like 3, 5, 7. If it's negative, it's going to stay negative. So a negative x cubed times a 4 get, leads us with negative 4x cubed, okay? Our negative x squared, because it's uh, to an even power, it will yield a positive result. So we have positive x squared, but it's times a negative 12. So we're going to, positive times a negative will still give us negative 12 
x squared, okay? And then here we have a negative x times a negative 5, okay? And that will give us our positive 5x, and the 1 just stays the same. Now, after we do uh, take into account this, it's the same thing we did with the positive. We just count the changes. Here, no change. Uh, here we went from negative to positive. We have a change. And last, we went from positive to positive. There's been no change. So we count the number of changes. I'll just put no, that's fine. We count the number of changes. So we have one change means that our maximum negative roots is 1. Okay? Can we have 0? I mean, we can't have zero roots, right? Because we need to decrease, by Descartes' rule, by two or an even integer, right? Decreasing one by two would give us a negative number. You can't have a negative solution. So we know that because it starts at one and it can't decrease down by two anymore, that there is only one negative root. Okay? So from that, let's deal with what we have, okay? We know that there's total, um, going back to our other example, we know that there's three roots total, okay? So we know that we have three roots total, okay? And I'm just going to write that twice. Okay? Uh, let me fix that. So we have three roots Okay, our first condition was that we knew, and let me see if I go back to that problem. Okay, yes, okay, our first condition was, let's assume that there's two positive roots. Okay, if there's two positive roots, I'm just going to put the word positive, we know from our this example here that there's one negative root, okay? So we know that there's two positive, one negative, okay? Because that makes, and I'll write that all out, because that makes three already, we know that there has to be zero imaginary roots, okay? For this case, this is if the case is that there's two positive, okay? And I wrote in, in class complex, but imaginary complex with this respect means the same, okay? But there was two conditions for positive, right? It could be either two or it could be zero, Okay, so what happens if it's zero positive? And let me write three roots total, okay? This is how we did it in class, so I'll keep that. If it's zero positive, we know that one still needs to be negative, right? There's only one negative, okay? There's no other conditions for that. So we have one negative, zero positive, but there's two more roots to be accounted for. So we assume, well not assume, we know that from that, that the rest are imaginary. Okay, and the last thing note to uh, make sure is that your imaginary or complex numbers has to be an even number. Zero, I mean, doesn't exist. Uh, there's no, there's no imaginary number here, but there here is two. If you found out, did all this work, and you found that the imaginary numbers were three, you had three imaginary numbers or five, let's say, for certain problems. You that means you made a mistake somewhere, and you need to check back your work. Okay, so what you're doing is you're finding just a little recap. You're finding your positives you're finding your negatives and you're doing all possible cases so here was our two cases when there was two positives and when there was zero positives now if there was more than one negative we would have to take more cases into account but from that and using Descartes rule we were able to find the all the possibilities of the type of roots for polynomial equations I mean polynomials alright so that was my tutorial I hope it helps um, thank you again for the opportunity of letting me teach your class, and uh, I hope you guys nothing but the, I wish you nothing for the, but the best. Have a nice day, guys.